What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Oxar Formula. And once again, I'm back with another 2K banger. Okay, I reset the NBA back to 2018, 2019. So these are all pretty much the rosters that were back at 2018, 2019. This is the year that of course, Kawhi Leonard uh, and the Toronto Raptors won the NBA championship against the Golden State Warriors. Um, for the most part, most of, most of the roster is like up to date uh, for that time period to like, you know, create a player Avery Bradley because he's not in the game. Luka Matabute. Um, but like, as you can see, once you get at the bottom of the rosters, of course, they're not going to be the most perfect considering that like most of these guys are, which is kind of crazy how most of these guys are like out of the league um, by this time that we're like in the game. So like the Knicks are fucked, right? The Knicks like have nobody. Um, so they might be playing with some 40 overalls, which I hope that's not the case. But going, let, let's start from the top. Let's go through each roster. So of course, Philly has Joel, Ben Simmons. Also, the numbers are going to be a little bit off. Don't mind that. It's just we're just doing a fucking simulation here. We're not uh, doing a deep dive. But uh, 76ers, as you can tell, they had a pretty decent roster that year. They thought that this roster was going to make it all the way. Um, and for the most part, it, I think they would have, uh, considering if they didn't lose to Toronto. Um, Milwaukee, uh, they have a pretty good squad. Chicago Bulls, just Zach Levine. Cleveland, this, I think this was the, the year that... Uh, LeBron left to go to the Lakers. My favorite team, the Celtics. Um, second year, JT. Uh, what is this? The the third, the second to third year. Well, no, it's, yeah, it's the second year JT. So this is third year. Jalen Brown. Al Horford on his first year tenure with us. Terry Rozier. This was this was the team. This was the team. This team was uh, was supposed to make it. Uh, the Clippers, young Clippers. I'm not sure. I always get my years mixed up. This this might be the Clippers team, or was that the year before that came back against? Or that could be even the year after. Uh, the Grizzlies uh, with a rookie, I believe. Yeah, rookie Jaron Jackson. The Hawks. Uh, the Miami Heat, who have uh, last year Dwayne Wade. Technically, last year of his career, Dwayne Wade. Uh, the Charlotte Hornets with Kemba and nobody else. Oh, they do have old ass Tony Parker. Utah Jazz. Um, this it would be second year Donovan Mitchell. Um, Rudy Gobert kind of had his out started to have like his defensive player of the year outbreak. Uh, Sacramento Kings with a second year Darren Fox. Yep, I always get my years mixed up. Uh, New York Knicks with third year. This is the year. Oh, this is 18-19. So was he out this year? Was he injured? Was he injured the whole year? Did he not play this year? I don't remember. First year, LeBron on the Lakers. So they still have, you know, Lonzo, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma. This is a team that missed the playoffs. Uh, the Orlando Magic, Dallas Mavericks uh, with rookie Luka Doncic and... Last year, Dirk Nowitzki, uh, Brooklyn Nets. This was the fun, young Brooklyn Nets that we all love and miss, uh, miss and love. Denver Nuggets on that early grind. <clears throat> Indiana Pacers with uh, Victor Oladipo, DeMontis Sabonis. Pelicans still with Anthony Davis and Drew Holiday. Julius Randle, Nikola Mirotic, Jaleel Okafor, Solomon Hill, Kendrick, Kendrick Williams. Uh, the Pistons with Blake Griffin, I believe they were the eighth seed this year, or they they were the eighth seed the year before. Uh, Toronto, this is a team that won the championship. What a beautiful constructed squad this was, uh, from top to bottom. Yeah, you can see why looking at this roster why they won the championship. Houston Rockets with James Harden, Chris Paul, um, PJ Tucker, Eric Gordon, Clint, Clint Capella. San Antonio Spurs with DeMar DeRozan, and Lamar Soldridge and Pau Gasol. Uh, Phoenix Suns, very young Phoenix Suns team with uh, rookie DeAndre Ayton. Oklahoma City Thunder, 
with Russell Westbrook and Paul George. Uh, this was year. This was the year after uh, he Russell won MVP. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, year the year or two years after technically. Um, Timberwolves, you know, with Jimmy Butler, Portland Trailblazers, Golden State Warriors, who have the best roster ever constructed um, with DeMarcus Cousins being out, and then the Washington Wizards. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate all the way to the trade deadline. We're going to look at the rosters. We're going to look at how everyone stands here. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, um, and also make sure to comment below who you think will win in this re-simulation. Going through the rosters one more time, just a quick run through. Who do you think uh, will win the championship? Uh, do you guys think the Raptors go back and win it this time? I'm going to turn... I'm going to keep injuries on because injuries happen in real life. Kind of why Golden State, you could say, lost. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. And uh, let's see who's number one in the league. All right. So we are at the trade deadline. Now go, let's go over and see the stats, the NBA standings for the whole league. So obviously... As everyone probably expected, Golden State Warriors are number one, sitting at 42 and 8. Number two comes at the Toronto Raptors, where Kawhi is averaging uh, only 19 a game. I'm going to turn up his tendencies because, Jesus, man, like, they do Kawhi so dirty. Um, Jesus. Houston's number three, Minnesota's number four. Oklahoma City's number five, uh, Philadelphia six, Denver seven, um, LA's up there, top ten. So we're definitely going to get a different playoff picture. My Boston Celtics are twenty-two and nineteen. Uh, unfortunately, looks like Kyrie's been injured. Kyrie has injuries. He uh, ruptured his Achilles, so he's been out for the whole year, pretty much. Um, Sacramento's pretty bad as well. Now, if we look at the league leader in points, James Harden averaging 33 a game, which at this time, 18-19, that is when, I believe he won MVP where he averaged 36. Uh, then KD averaging 30, Paul George averaging 28.5 which is actually oddly similar to what he averaged that year as well. He was top three in MVP. I think he finished actually number two right behind James Harden uh, because of his defensive play as well. Donovan Mitchell in his second year is averaging 30 points a game. D'Angelo Russell is averaging 28. Curry is averaging 27. Giannis is averaging 26 and a half. Luka in his, technically his rookie year is averaging 26. Zach Levine's averaging 25, and Chris Stapps, who sprained his wrist, is averaging 28. LeBron, just outside the top 10, averaging 24. Clay Thompson averaging 24. Bradley Beal averaging 24. Damian Lillard averaging 24. De'Aaron Fox averaging 23. So, yeah. Uh, Tatum's up there. Top 25 scores. Number 25 is Tim Hardaway Jr. That is very surprising, especially over people like Victor Oladipo. But what I, what I said I was going to do was I'm actually going to go over to Kawhi Leonard and put his shot tendency up because that boy should not have... I'm actually going to put up all of his tendencies. That sh boy should not be averaging 19, especially on 50, 50, 80. I mean, those are crazy splits, but that boy should not be barely averaging. He's averaging... If you round up, he's not even averaging 20. He's averaging 19. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's the first half of the season. I'm going to see you guys at the playoffs. And, uh... Once again, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Looking at the awards, James Harden wins MVP, which looking at 2018, 2019, I believe he did win MVP in that year as well. Technically, he was the 2019 MVP. 2018. Third rookie of the year says Dwight Howard. Um, this actually went to Luka. Of course, with the roster, not everything's going to be, uh, you, you know what I mean. Sixth man of the year goes to Ben Simmons, um, who should actually be starting. The winner of this was Lou Williams. Defensive player of the year goes to Rudy Gobert. That is the only thing that has stayed the same so far in this. Uh, most improved was Hassan Whiteside. Most improved in real life was Pascal Siakam. And clutch player of the year, they did not have that in 2019. Coach of the year was Steve Kerr. Coach of the year in real life was Mike Budenholzer. Steve Kerr did not finish in the top 
three executive of the year goes to the Houston Rockets. Uh, this is your All NBA first team. This is your All NBA second team. You got Luca as a rookie coming up on here, LeBron, and this is your All NBA third team. All defensive first team, all defensive second team, all rookie first team, which none of these guys count, and uh, all defense, uh, all rookie second team, which once again none of these guys count. This is your bracket, which is significantly different than in real life. Um, Boston was not the eighth seed. I think Boston was a top four or five seed this year. But um, we're going to simulate the first round, see if we have any close series. See if any of them get to... These are 2-2. Two, two. So first team eliminated, Boston Celtics. Celtics get swept. Uh, Utah's up 3-1. LA's up 3-1. Chicago's up 3-1. Washington's up 3-1. Philly's up 3-1. Um, sim one more game. So we have... Uh, the Lakers beat the Rockets in the first round. Minnesota beats Utah, or Utah's up 3-2. Denver eliminates OKC in the first round. Golden State's up 3-2. Chicago's up 3-2. Brooklyn gets eliminated. Milwaukee gets eliminated. Uh, Indiana gets eliminated. Let's see here. New Orleans gets eliminated. We finally have a Game 7 that I can hopefully jump into. Top left, Carl Anthony Towns is injured, but this game looks like the Timberwolves are still going to take it and actually come Back from a three. Whoa, I did not mean to do that. I went to see if they came back from down 3 1. 1 0 or 1 1, 2 1, 3 1. They came back from a 3 1 deficit. Now, in the second round, we have Toronto, Chicago, Washington, Philly, Minnesota, late Los Angeles, and Golden State and Denver. Philly's already up 2 0, or Philly's down 2 0. Now they're down 3 0 to Washington. Lakers are up 2 1. Warriors are up 2 1. Toronto is up 2-1. Philly gets swept by Washington. Golden State's up 3-1. LA's up 3-1. And Toronto is up 3-1. Uh, the Lakers win. The Warriors win. The Raptors win. And the Wizards, of course, win. So you have Golden State and Los Angeles versus Toronto and Washington. So very different than the real conference finals. I believe the conference, the conference finals was Toronto... And what it was, it was it Toronto in, uh, I always get my years mixed up. Hmm. I'm just looking this up real quick. Conference finals. Um, so it was actually Golden State versus Portland, which Portland didn't even make the playoffs. And it was Toronto versus Milwaukee. Um, so significantly very different, uh, games here in this conference finals as Toronto is up 2-1 Toronto is up 3-1 Golden State's over there up 2-1 Toronto wins it in 5 Golden State's up 3-1 and they also win it in 5 so we do have the same finals matchup and uh, if you guys followed in real life the NBA finals was done in 6 games we do it one by one Raptors win game 1 DeMarcus Cousins is back from his injury uh, it looks, doesn't look like anyone else is injured. It just looks like KD played a bad game. Kawhi, um, let's see if Kawhi's numbers went up. They did significantly, uh, which is good. Means he's shooting the ball more, which he should. Toronto is up 2-0. Toronto is up 3-0. And I want to hop into this just in case that they win this and sweep, which... Doesn't look like they are going to. Looks like it's going to be the Warriors by 18. And Fred Van Vliet broke his ankle. Which could be the downfall for the Raptors. Uh, the Warriors had this such thing happen to them before. So does history change where it's actually on the Warrior side? Um, looking at game 5. And game 5 looks like Kevin Durant dominates. Game six coming up right now. Toronto at home. Toronto takes a huge lead. Oh, oh, this game, it's getting close. Please be close so I can hop into it. 3.30 left, 115-108. I'm going to hop in this for you guys just in case the Raptors do end up winning here. 
Um, forgot there's no commentators, so I am the commentators. Uh, Warriors have the ball. Clay Thompson over to Curry. Curry takes a dribble. Curry Set back surveys. behind the back. Oh, there is announcers. Nice commentators behind the back to Draymond. Draymond gets a pick from Demarcus Cousins. Draymond fadeaway three. Nothing that, that was gonna work either. Pascal Siakam, he looks like he's injured. Same thing with Norm Powell. Norm Powell with the dribble pull up. Dang. 117 108 for your Toronto Raptors. Looks like Norman Powell's on KD. Clay Thompson looks coming off the screen, passes down to Demarcus Cousins in the post with Pascal Siakam on him. Little post hook. No good. Bring up the ball is Pascal Siakam over to Juan Wright. Pascal Siakam dribble pull up. Back out to OG Ananobi. Bang! Wow. Toronto is up by 12 now with 2.30 left. Are they going to win in six just like they did in real life? Curry says no and hits a fucking three. Bang, 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 bang. This is what I like to say when Curry shoots that ball because a bang, a bang. Pascal Siakam. Siakam against Cousins. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Number 10, I don't know. Always pass over to OG Ananobi, who's got guarded by Clay Thompson. Over to Pascal Siakam. Pascal Siakam throws up a three and does get fouled. So he'll be taking three free throws. Let's see if uh, our boy Kawhi Leonard gets checked in, and he is. This is beautiful. Kawhi Leonard back in that Toronto jersey. Wow. And Pascal Siakam actually misses the third rebound. The third rebound, the third free throw. Draymond with the rebound, passed up to Curry. Curry's got the ball at the top right wing. Down to DeMarcus Cousins in the paint. Started by Jonas Valanciunas. DeMarcus Cousins gets in there for an easy bucket. Cuts the lead down to nine. Kyle Lowry bringing the ball up. Looks like getting a double screen. Jonas Valanciunas with the cut. Pass to Leonard. Kawhi Leonard with a Kobe-like fadeaway. Unfortunately, rims out. Durant up to Curry. Curry just pulls it from three. Barely misses. DeMarcus Sesson with the rebound, puts it back up, and he hits it off the glass. Cuts the lead down to seven. OG Ananobi, they're getting full court press right now. Uh, from the Warriors up to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry's dribbling the ball down with a minute 20 left. Up by seven over to Valanciunas. Siakam coming off a screen. Dribble handoff Siakam. Siakam with a pump fake. Almost. He does lose his dribble there. Draymond Green does strip him. Draymond Green's taking it by himself. I don't know what Draymond Green is doing. He's dribble sizing up Kyle Lowry in the paint. Over to Curry for three. Bang! Cuts the lead down to four. Pascal Siakam dribbling the ball up. You got to give Kawhi the ball here. It's a screen set from Jonas Valanciunas down to Kawhi. Kawhi with KD on him. Kawhi backs down. KD misses and doesn't succeed to grab the rebound. Up to Curry. Up to Draymond. Draymond Green gets fouled. Draymond Green be going to the line to potentially put this game within two. And he sinks both free throws. So they just cut like an 11 point lead like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. Kawhi top of the key with KD on him. Passes over Pascal Siakam on the left wing. Pascal Siakam sizing up Draymond Green. Over to Valanciunas. Kawhi coming off a screen. Kawhi could add the three. Takes a dribble. Does a spin in the paint. Puts up a shot and it goes in. Kawhi Leonard, clutch. The Raptors are up by four with 20 seconds left in this fourth quarter. Now remember in real life, they did win by four. Draymond passes over to KD. KD takes two dribbles, three dribbles on the inside, pass out to DeMarcus Cousins, DeMarcus Cousins. With a couple pump fakes. I don't know what he's doing. He gets stripped by Kawhi. Kawhi might have just sealed the deal there with the Jordan-esque steal. Kawhi. First free throw goes in. Kawhi second free throw. And it's good. And the Warriors take a, their 
fucking nine time out in a row. Kawhi Leonard with possibly the steal of a lifetime here on DeMarcus Cousins. Let's uh let's let's rotate this back. Wish this was a little bit faster. That is a Jordan-esque steal right there. Come from behind. Take it out, just like how Jordan did against uh, Carl Malone. Down by six. There's ten Warriors left. down by six. Draymond Green inbounding it. Sees Curry drop into the corner with the screen. Curry pulls it for three. three. Bang! He brings it within three with eight seconds left. Wow. Curry might actually be clutch. All right, let's see how this plays out. Three seconds left. They give it to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry gets instantly fouled by Curry. Curry, that's Curry's fourth foul. Does Kyrie Lowry, Kyle Lowry, make both at the free throw line? It's the first one. And makes the second one. Warriors going to call their last time out. Thank God I'm sick of this Let's see, can they bring this game within two? Draymond Green inbounding it again. They're trailing by five. Seven Draymond Green sees who he sees nobody. Gives it to KD. KD out to Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson misses it. Jonas Valanciunas grabs it down, brings it up to Kawhi. Kawhi with fucking no seconds time left on the clock, and the Raptors win it again in this simulation. If you guys guessed the Raptors in six, you guys were correct. The Raptors, once again, win it in six in this 2K simulation. And once again, beat the Warriors in six. OG Ananobi holding the, holding the trophy. Of course, it's got to be Kawhi Leonard that wins finals MVP, right? Just like in real life. Look at some stats here. Kawhi had 24, 10 for 23. Clutch steal. Clay Thompson. Who didn't play good? Uh, Sean Livingston. Okay, but Toronto wins by five, and Kawhi Leonard is your finals MVP. So that is 2K's re-simulation back to 2018-2019. They still have the Raptors winning in six. They had a different playoff outcome, I can tell you that much, but um, the Raptors do win it. So if you guys did enjoy this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let's f get this video to... 300,000 views, 900,000 likes. That's not possible. Well, let's make it possible. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been your boy, Oxo Formula, and I'm out. Peace.